So now, taking this drawing of the bents that we did earlier, we start to establish the approximate height of the bents that we're going to require. And then pre-cut the, uh, the scale lumber into components. And you'll see here, I've pre-cut the ones that I'm going to build so that I can stain them. Now they've been grained and sanded and uh, cut to approximate length. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be stained next and uh, then we'll start the assembly. I've, uh, I've already completed one of the bents and you can see it's been grained and stained ahead of time and then all these pre-cut pieces have now been assembled using this, this jig that's here and uh, the, uh, the top cord is here, the 12 by 12 posts, the diagonal bracing and I've installed the NBWs along here that hold the whole assembly together. And you can see it basically just came right out of there and now everyone is identically the same. The other thing is to do what I call a retaining bend. And this is exactly the same except now we have 8 by 16 timbers that are placed across the back and these are going to be at the beginning and the end of the trestles and they hold the dirt and the gravel and the rocks back and then the, the bridge will actually go across the top here. Okay, so now what we've done is we've reached a point where we now have to install the bents to the underside of the stringers. If we had a level roadbed, installing them would be a fairly simple because you just install them square to the underside of the stringers. In this case we have a grade it's going uphill in that direction and uh, this, uh, this particular one is at 3% and if I was to install the bends to the underside of the stringers square to the underside this is a little exaggerated but we'd be sitting like this when we actually put it in place we have to have the bends plumb and in order to do that we have to make up a little jig I take a piece of foam core, quarter inch foam core and I cut just a small triangle out of it and it doesn't really matter about what the angle is here at this, at this point but what I do is I put that on the track and then I take uh, a level with, with a square and there's a bubble in here and what I'll do is I'll put the two of them together and I will adjust, I will adjust the, the level until the bubble is in the center and I'll draw a line up the side here and cut that angle on that line. Now what that'll do, that'll represent the angle that the, that the, uh, the bends will sit at. In this case what I've done after I've cut it, I've actually drawn a black line here that's 90 degrees to the bottom so you can actually see the difference up here is the, the amount of angle that the bend will sit at. And then what we'll do is we'll use this template on the underside when we'll set the, ben the, uh, the bends up. And I'll show you that next. We've taken the first bend and planked it on the back side with heavy timbers and that will be the first bend that holds back the earth at each end of the trestle. The next thing we do is we'll put glue on the ends of the stringers here lining up these two center posts with the two center stringers and once we put them in there and then we'll use, we'll use the template that we've made with the appropriate angle that we've cut here. We'll glue this on the end, we'll lay that up against it and that will give us the true angle of the slope that that bent will have based on the, the grade. Okay, so now I've completed that, the, the bent is in place, it's glued firmly in place and we'll move to the next, we'll move to the next uh, bent and it'll be placed 16 feet on center here which is actually the joint of these stringers and again we'll, we'll put that position that there with the center beams um, in, the, in, the, in the center of the stringers, we'll put the template there we'll glue that in place like so, we'll press the template up against it like so and let it secure itself there with the adhesive and then move on to the next bend and so on all the way down the 
length of the string is. Now we've got all the bents uh, in place. They're all secured. When we turn it over and when these are plumb then this has a gentle slope up just as the grade we had planned on. Now there are times when it is better to install and lay the track on the deck before the bends are in place. It makes it a lot easier. You, you'll be able to work on a table on a solid surface without any pressure down on the on the bends. Um, but there are times when it's easier to do it after the deck is in place. Uh, and that is usually when you're on a curve because you can't always get the track exactly to follow the, the entry and the exit and in those cases you just need to make sure that the bents uh, are very firm in place, the bases are, are well supported because of the pressure that you have to put down um, on, the, on the trestle installing the spikes. Measure the length of the trestle that's going in here and I've removed the rail and I used the jigsaw to cut through and have removed this and there basically is the template that we were going to use before. So the, we remove that and we can now start setting the new trestle in here, leveling the ties across here and securing the footings of the bents uh, so that uh, it has solid support and then we can reinstall the rail across. The same thing has been done at both ends of the how through truss bridge. That piece has now been cut off so that we can put the new section in here and of course at the other end that's also been cut out ready to put the new trestle in on that end. Because of the span and the weight of the through how truss bridge the bends at each end can't possibly be a single bend because it just wouldn't structurally fit and what I've done is I've tripled them up with spaces in between so that again water doesn't sit in between and lots of extra bracing. This is the other end of the, uh, the bridge and you will note that these beams are much wider because obviously this is a through how truss bridge and it's wider than the trestle and therefore these beams going through here are wider, the width of this and diagonally braced back. It's a triple bent, all diagonally braced inside to really give it a lot of strength to support that span of the how through truss bridge. Now that we have the trestles built, I've taken the section out that was in here and we had that in there on spline which allowed me to operate the layout and I had scenery put in here that was really just temporary in order that I could run the, uh, the layout until I was actually ready to start building trestles and finish the scenery. So now we've demolished the base here and we've also demolished the base on the other side that is going to go to the through how truss bridge that will sit across here. So we've demolished this so that our new bends in here the scenery can meet the bends and we can develop this little area over here.